Hey there. If you're thinking about getting out there on the road with the big rigs and driving a rig, an RV, or even a bus, then have we got great news for you. Southwest Truck Driver Training can get you trained and rolling in as little as four weeks. They offer lifetime job placement support. They have special military programs, a financial aid program, including grant applications, and so much more to offer you. Plus, they are family owned business right here in the southwest they have world-class training for class a and b cdls hazmat endorsement training rv training and of course a refresher course if you need one and did we mention they have three locations which are phoenix tucson and north las vegas so we don't know why you're sitting there channel surfing on a tv when you could be learning to drive and roll down the road to earning a great living today go to their website SWTDT.com to learn more about Southwest Truck Driver Training to shift your career into high gear. Tell them you heard about them on the 18 Wheel Talk podcast show. We love them. You will too. Welcome to the 18 Wheel Talk podcast show, episode 10. 10, 10, 10. 18 Wheel Talk. Welcome to the 18 Wheel Talk podcast show. We're a podcast for truckers, about truckers, by truckers. Coaching generations of drivers while guiding them on their path to success. Fueling them with knowledge and passion for trucking. Navigating, Navigating the, the industry, industry one, one mile, mile at a time. time. Spark the revolution. revolution. Let's play ball. <laughs> <laughs> You're a stinker. You know that, right? Uh-huh. I don't know. Shall we play ball? Can we play ball? I don't know. <laughs> I let's don't know. let's talk sports, Janet. How are you okay. doing, Janet? I'm good, Patrick. I'm just closing stuff up on my phone. <laughs> yeah. Technical uh, difficulties. No. Take two. <laughs> take two. So. Yeah, the first video when uh, we recorded, uh, there was no audio. Yeah. So. Gee, I wonder who fucked that up. Patrick. <laughs> So, hasn't every sport on earth been affected by uh, COVID-19? No. No? No. What hasn't? Uh, ping pong. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm grasping at straws. Okay. Well, here in America, oh, can we still say here in America? Can yeah. we still call it America? America? Yeah, yeah this is America. Okay. Just check it. We're the United States so of America. America. We're Americans. We're Americans. Well, I know the big ones. The big ones, you know, football. Baseball. Where you want to start? Basketball. I want to start with baseball because that's what affected us the most. Yeah. Season ticket holders for Diamondbacks. Five years. Yeah. See, Four yeah. years. Five years. See. Oh yeah, we got all look, kinds of stuff. Whoops. Look, let's see. That's a Cattell Marte butt bobblehead. I mean bobblehead, not a <laughs> butthead. But yeah. um. Yeah, he's got a cute one. These two here, are Nick Ahmed on the moons. Yeah, and uh, we got. Um, I think that's a Robbie Ray. I don't know. Yep, that's that's a Robbie Ray. That's a Beer Stein. Uh, let's see this one right here. That is Archie Bradley. That's a Paul Goldschmidt stuffed pillow. pillow. This one right here. That's a special one. That's a Tori Lovello. Yeah. The uh, coach. You got that the, sign, didn't you? Yep. Yep. That's a that's the manager. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's another. That's the front part of the um, uh, Cattell Marte. There's oh, the yeah. front. And that's we, the back. <laughs> and we've got their Star Wars stuff. Oh my God! Yeah. The there's and, over here. There's like there's like there's like two or three. Um, I think there's a. Uh, I think that's um, what the hell's his name? Uh, David uh, Peralta. <laughs> David, no, that's a Pollock right there. That's a Pollock next to him over here off screen. That's uh, that's a Peralta. AJ Pollock, David uh, Peralta. See. All right, so let's see this one. I know them in their uniforms, especially from the rear view. Yeah, she yeah she looks at their butts. This is Jake Lamb. This is Star Wars. Um, Gold, anyway. Goldschmidt, and then there's numerous Goldschmidt yeah. stuff. Anywho, up. oh, autographed and, uh, baseballs. Most of those shirts. Were no cost, and almost all the stuff I yeah. think on the top yeah, me, shelf was no cost. But we paid for the baseballs. Yeah, the baseballs. These four are autographed by players of the Diamondbacks, and these three are players of the Chicago Cubs. Go Cubs! <laughs> anyway, so, so it affected us because in February we went to Fan Appreciation Day. That was awesome. Oh, it was so cool. We we saw um, 
Casey Dadio. Casey Dadio is yeah, Dadio, Dad, Dad, Dadio, and Nicolette. Yep, and, mini me. Yeah, Munchkin. She's about this big. <laughs> and cuter than a bug's ear. I, I, yeah. I have no idea what that means. So anyway, we <laughs> and we saw tons and tons of fans and people that work there. Are cute. We saw tons of fans and yes, tons of people lots. that work there that we've known from previous years. Lots of oh look, there's a Yasmani Tomas. Yep. Locker sign. And I can't tell what that oh, that's a Star Wars thingy behind him, isn't yep. it? Yeah, yeah that's a uh, Princess it's not Princess Bitchy. No, no, it's Princess Amadala, I oh, think. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Episode, that's from episode one. Collector's oh. item. What? Ooh. And then there's a stuffed bear. Build a bear yeah. right right there. I see that. Biker dude. Anyway. Anyways. Hey, by the way. We had a lot of fun. Click down here, subscribe. Is it there? Or no, I think it's here. I think it's right here. There's a subscribe button somewhere, oh, yeah. somewhere over here. There's a subscribe button. Subscribe to our show. His way. Yeah. And hit that notification bell. Smash the like button. Bing, 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 Let bing, us know bing, that you're bing, enjoying bing. us and that uh, we're making a difference and making you laugh. That and... you have as much fun as we do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And Anyways, back so to it sports. Was a fun day. Yes. It was, it was an awesome day. Uh, they we didn't had... know it was going to make it, that we well, had to make it last a year. Yeah. Well, they, they opened the roof. They let the sun shine in. Mm-hmm. They had a lot of activities. This is at Chase Field. So yeah. usually they have it over at Salt River, Salt River Fields. Yep. And they, it's just got so big that they said, you know what? We're doing it at Chase Field this year. It was really Or that cool. year. This year. This, yeah, yeah, it was, was this, this year. year. It was six months ago. Yeah, it was February. And then what? A, a month, month later. A month later, we shut down. Yeah. yeah a month later, wow. we shut down. Time flies and you're having fun. Uh, yeah, that's what you want to call it. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. And four weeks later, we shut down. And baseball went. But then it yeah. came back kind of sort of live-ish kabooble. Yeah, right. Cardboard cutouts behind the home base. Mascots spread out. Team play- Mas- team mascots trying to rally out. up the cardboard cutouts. <laughs> team players spread out. No spinning. Yeah, no No high fives. Seeds. Yep, no peanut shells. No. Nope. Ah, uh, you'd be in. You'd be, I'd in, be in heaven. Oh, uh, you would be. <laughs> but that's just you know the players can't do that. Yeah, the cardboard cutouts can't. <laughs> the cardboard either. cutouts can't spit. Yeah, I know. And uh, they were supposed to wear masks, and we saw the one game where the one player shared the hand sanitizer. Yep. With the other player from the other team, mm-hmm. right there at home plate. That was pretty cool. We saw. We we then saw. We saw the Dodgers game. Yeah, Dodgers, Dodgers versus the Astros. We had a brawl, yeah. o- almost, oh, no, almost brawl. You stay away from me. It's like, yeah, you ain't got a mask on. Don't get near me. <laughs> Screw you! I'm really mad yeah. at you. Yeah, right. Oh my yeah, god! It was like an like you said. Well, almost every game the Dodgers play, there's a brawl. Yeah, they're, I think they still, said something about that too. Yeah, they're still pissy because they uh, they got booted off the. Uh, they, they didn't make it to the World Series. It is what it is. You know, it's a game, kids. Come on, I played it when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> not for multi-million dollars, though. No, no, I did not. Not I was, for even hundred thousands of was dollars. A, I was a catcher when I was little. Listen, I'm having paper. Yeah, you, you having a paper issue? I know. I got shit falling off your, your pegboard <laughs> up there. Pegboard just went crazy. All right. Rump, rump, rump. Your pegboard so they, says here. <laughs> talk about this. <laughs> yeah. So. Baseball came back and with like sixty games. To yeah, go. yeah. If they if they even make those sixty games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know the Marlins. If they can, the, if they can stay healthy enough. Oh, by the way, go D backs. I just realized I have my D backs hat. Yeah, on. I see that. But you had the Marlins that had a bunch of players go out. You yeah, had the Cardinals. The Cardinals that had a bunch of players go out. St. Louis Cardinals, that is not Arizona. We're talking baseball, of course. I know. It's the St. Louis I, Cardinals. I know. I know. Sorry. Now you know, I lost my train of thought. It went shoo, Cardinals. Shoo, shoo, shoo. That's the Boston easy. team. Red, Red Sox. Sox. The Red Sox. <laughs> the Red Sox. They hit some of their players. Yeah. And, a lot uh, of players are, are starting to test positive for this. So, and, and there's no way. They even talked about trying to go into a bubble. And I don't know how they're going to do baseball in a bubble, but good luck. Stay with us. We'll be right back. If you don't have a dash cam, 
in your semi and you went and spent all that money on it, do you really think that you and your truck are protected against John Q. Public? We don't. That is why we recommend Rexing USA cameras and equipment. Whatever it is you are looking for, whether it be a dash cam, a body cam, a trail cam, or similar, they probably have it. Nearly every new vehicle coming out has a dash cam, and there is a reason for it. Litigation. Yes, welcome to America, the land of litigation. So the best thing you can do is to protect what you own with video and pictures. And their dash cams, boy, let me tell you, their cams do a lot. They have 170-degree ultra-wide-angle lenses that will automatically lock in the last video if it feels a vibration from an accident. It has a super-capacitor battery backup that is better than lithium for extreme heat or cold. Add in loop recording, a mobile app, and parking monitoring, and more. And yes, now you have a really great package for this company of cameras. So come on, check it out at 18wheeltalk.com slash dashcam. That's 18wheeltalk.com slash dashcam. Yeah, they talked about bringing it out here for a bubble. I'm like, what are you going to do, put the whole valley in a bubble? They're going to play all the games inside a dome? Yeah, one right after another 24-7. All right. If that's what they got to do to complete the season. I don't know. I anyway. think they should just say take take a big time out and say, you know what? It just ain't for us right now. I agree. That, um, so I got to grab my notes, okay? I mean, I know the uh, NHL came back and just said, you know what? We're just going to go right into playoffs. We're just going to have, you know, everybody's just going to, you know, play in the playoffs and then we'll settle it this way. Yeah. But you were talking about baseball. I want to quote you that. Oh, that's right. You said you, you had a quote there yeah, uh, that you wanted to read. Sorry. From Steve Rosenthal. He's an independent sports writer. Because you mentioned who's he? Steve Rosenthal. Okay. An independent sports writer. He writes for all these big stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. What What's his quote? Professional baseball. His quote. <laughs> his quote. Yes, I quote exactly word for word. If you'll quit interrupting me. Professional baseball is a nearly eleven billion dollar business with a B, a b b b billion. Boy, if it can't get its act together and pull this off safely, perhaps canceling the shortened season will serve as a wake up call that nothing is normal in this pandemic, and that premature openings, like many are proposing for school districts that aren't ready, will only backfire and put our teachers, our kids, school employees, and their families at great risk, just like the baseball community. It's heartbreaking for those of us starved for baseball and hoping for a diversion. But until we get the coronavirus under control, America does not deserve baseball. Steve Rosenthal, independent sports writer. Yep. Control the cooties. And I believe he writes for the independent and Yahoo Sports. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Yeah. No way. This way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I agree. I agree. If they can't get their shit together, you know what? They shouldn't be playing. I agree. You know, but like I said, I like I like uh, what what the NHL is doing. Um, went straight into playoffs. Yeah, just went right into playoffs. Said, you know what? Our season was just about over with, and you know we're just gonna take take the teams and have at it. Go Coyotes! Uh, yeah, go Yotes! Yotes! Go Yotes! Go Blackhawks! Oh yeah, Chicago's in it still, ain't yeah. it? Yeah, uh, Chicago. You and your Chicago goddamn teams. Well, the Blackhawks are now up against the Vegas team. The yeah, right, yeah. The, the Golden Strippers, is yeah, that their yeah, name? Yeah, I don't know. The Golden Canucks. No. No, it's uh, the, the Golden the, Gamblers. The Golden Knights. That's it. <laughs> you know, I'm just doing this to screw with your sister. I know. Uh, I know. Not she, that she'll ever. She doesn't it. know shit about sports, but boy, she's rooting for the Vegas. Sports Golden, teams. whatever they are, because <laughs> that's our team. Yeah, I know. They're, they're, they were new last year, and now she's all of a sudden a hockey fan. Yeah, that's who the Blackhawks are playing. And the, she, she she said that to me. I said, name one player, and the only player she can name is the one they advertise on the billboards. <laughs> <laughs> and the Coyotes are up against the Cal I, Colorado I mean, Avalanche. I mean, I I couldn't tell you who plays on the on the Coyotes. I just I was hoping they would go play the Vegas Knights so that and, and kick their butts so we can so, rub it in her face like yeah okay but if the Blackhawks beat her we still got 
And yeah, then we go. The Nye. Blackhawks are my team too. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is and true. And if they win, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh my God, never. Yeah, I know, right? Blackhawks better not let us down. I swear to God, they better not. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry. Go Blackhawks. <laughs> go Blackhawks. Go yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did you hear this about football? Uh, uh-uh, what about football? Um, the Washington Redskins are now the Washington football team. You know what their initials stand for? What they the have, fuck? They, they have no, they have a W, an F, and a T. What the fuck? <laughs> they're Sorry, they're going to be known as WTF from now on. <laughs> Washington team football. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh huh. That's just wrong. Yep, they got a big old W on there. Go Washington. <laughs> Read between the lines, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were gonna call them the I, I code talkers, I think. Yeah, I heard. I heard there was also a rumor they're gonna be called the Washington Red Tails. Like who the? Like a red tail hawk? I don't know, like some little little league football team. Like, well, like a red tail <laughs> is a red tail hawk, you know, like the I Chicago agree. Blackhawks. I, I but... agree. I, I yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Couldn't tell you. Probably some fifth grader came up with the name. Yeah, in an instant online contest. Yeah, exactly. Because there's name no school. Our team. Yeah, there's no school in school. Yeah, name our team. Yeah, you can win season tickets. Go Red Tails. <laughs> Yeah, no, that doesn't do a thing. No, for me. it doesn't. It doesn't. They're yeah. still going to be the Redskins. But you, you know, you know, if you stayed out, if you go outside in this hundred and fifteen degree weather, and, you're going and, there. Are you going there? And, and, Before and, you, are you going there? Yeah, I'm going there. Okay, if you go, go out, if you go outside and you stand outside for twenty minutes, half hour, and you get a burn, yeah, you'll be a Redskin. At least in neon <laughs> pink skin. Yeah, I'll see. It, I'll, I'll be able to see if you I with the background. There. You'll blend. <laughs> You get any whiter if you didn't have glasses and the, and the headset on, you would literally melt into the background. If I, I have on makeup, Patrick. So it looked like two eyes in in a, in a pile of shirts. I have on makeup here to give me color. <laughs> here, come here. I'll give you color. Come here. Come here. I'll give you color. <laughs> see? Color. I don't see it. So you're telling me if I do this. Where the hell did you go? <laughs> and this? <coughs> yeah, look. See, you disappeared. Hold on. Oh, wait. Wait. Yeah, watch your horns. Yeah, see? I told you. You're going to disappear into the clothes. Just about. Stripping on camera. Oh, my God. The show I'm just a... went downhill real Yeah, quick. I know. Our ratings just went to the shitter. Anyways, click the subscribe <laughs> button down here. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, there we go. Ooh, my horns. Woo! Yeah, fix them. You're yeah, you're a little discombobulated. <laughs> Why is today being different? Get them in right before your head falls off. <laughs> secret. It doesn't just hold the hair up off my back; it holds my head in. Uh, I hear. I hear that uh, sixty was it 60, 66. 66 players opted out. Of yeah. this year's season. Now, most people don't understand what, how opting out works. When they opt out, they're taking an advance off of, they're taking no pay for this year. Okay. They're taking a $150,000 advance off of next year's pay. That's it. So that's it. No okay. matter how much they make, whether they're the lowest player on the totem they're pole getting or, the, or the highest paid player, they're getting. I'll take it. Yeah, me too. I'm going to opt out for this season, coach. Yeah, me. I, can I opt out? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, if we're going to get 150, what happens if they don't, don't make? Yeah, what if they don't make 150,000 next year? Oops. <laughs> They're going to be know. sued. Yeah, right. NFL will sue them. Yeah, I probably. Think so. so, yeah, that's $150,000 for the year Boy. by opting out. Look at all I, the money the NFL saved. I know. I, well, no, no, it's not the NFL. It's the, the it's the team owners. That's what I mean. Look yeah. at all the money the team owners save. But, yeah. but all the, without all these linemen, what type of game are we going to have? Zero, zero, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, zero to three. Yeah, it's whoever gonna, gets the best kicker at the end, yeah, yeah. field goal at the end is the kicker win. that can kick a fifty yarder is going to win. <laughs> Super Bowl is going to be 
won by it, three to nothing. It's it's going to be with every the, everybody's going to run around with a six foot pole to try to rip a flag off. <laughs> there won't be tackled because you can't touch each other. Social distancing football, people. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. 18 Wheel no, Talk Podcast you know, Show. You run around with the, those, with those tongs like old people used to pick that's stuff it, up. That's what floor. I mean. You said the, pull. I'm talking about the tongs. Well, that's what I mean. They're going to be those six foot little grabbers there. That I've never seen them six foot long, but, but I've seen they'll them, put them on. Foot. They'll, they'll put them on a big stick. Well, three, and, three foot and three foot. There you go. There's your oh, six feet sure. distance. Anyway. <laughs> it's going to be flag football. Tag your it. Actually, no. What they should do is put a big hand on there and then slap them on the back. Say, I got you. Uh huh. Be kind of like paintball. I'm gonna get That'd you. be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> You're down. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh oh. Uh oh, God. Oh, it's all over the. It's oh. all. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Did you like the sound effects? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so you, the Vikings. You got, you got a little something. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about COVID in the NFL. The Vikings have a player named Cameron Smith. Yep. Who has COVID-19 and has to have heart bypass surgery. So wishing him well. Heart. I thought heart it was. Heart valve replacement. Heart, yeah, Sorry, heart, heart valve, valve, I thought. Heart valve replacement. I was going to say heart bypass. That's Listen, not bad. That's just... I'm on round two of the same subject, okay? Sorry. You want to make it round three? <laughs> round three I'll end, will, I'll end be, it now. <laughs> round three, there will be alcohol involved. Oops. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. <laughs> yes. Darn, we're going to have to get some alcohol. So they're talking about in the locker rooms that, um, that different, teams have, different teams have spaced the players out as they've been able to and yeah, put, put like, pucks of glass between yeah. them and you know, That's what they're able stupid. to do. That's got to look stupid. I, I saw anyway. on TV it looked okay. It's got to yeah. feel stupid. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I can't fit in between my plexiglass, coach. <laughs> you know well, how big some of them linemen are, those 350-pound linemen. Speaking of linemen, the center that snaps the ball and hands it to Oh, you're going to go there? I don't even want to talk to you now. Tom Brady? Mr. German? Oh, yeah. He can't, he can't lick uh, his fingers no more. He can't lick his fingers and snap He can't ball. deflate the football either. <laughs> Boy, but he's you know going to have can... a crappy year. Well, now that you mentioned crap, Oops. put his hand up underneath that center to get the sweat off his butt cheeks and grab that ball. <laughs> That's the only moisture he's going to get. <laughs> I went there. He's going to touch a sweaty bungholio. Bungholio. You just gave football a bad name. <laughs> he's hiking a turd. But you are you so that, not sorry. Do you know that some of the quarterbacks make their centers put towels down their britches so that there's no sweat on the ball? I knew that. You didn't admit it. I can't unhear that. <laughs> I knew it. You did. I, I, if it has to do with the butt or balls, guess who's <laughs> on it? That one. <laughs> Just chokes you up, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, come on, that's funny. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, because you know, a little. Like I said, Tom Brady can't lick the ball. He can't, <laughs> deflate, the he can't deflate the balls. He can't deflate his balls. Well, he, sure he can't lick his balls I'm anymore. Sure his, if he can lick his own <laughs> balls, man, he needs to talk. That's flexibility. I, I'm telling you, he's he might as well have stayed in uh, in New England. I'm not sure he was welcome there anymore. I don't. Uh, New England. I All think. I know is, what's Gronk thinking now? <laughs> I, I don't know. Thinking he wants a Super Bowl, so he followed Brady. That's why he came back out of retirement, was so that he could go back to New England. Yep, to get specifically traded. Specifically just to be traded. Yep. Okay, yeah, because he still had a year on his contract. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know damn well the, the Patriots got a hefty, hefty, oh, hefty yeah. fetch for Gronk. No, they did. Oh, yeah. Because he had retired. Oh, yeah. He was done. Well, look at Jason Witten. He retired and then went back to Dallas, and now he's a Las Vegas Raider. Let's see how long he lasts over there. They're going to go back to L.A. You watch. Two years from the now. Vegas Raiders? No, not with that multi-billion dollar stadium they got built. Oh, hell no. They're, they ain't going nowhere. They'll be there. Yeah, we'll see. No, Vegas Raiders will be there to stay. They're going to go back to L.A., and someone else is going to fill the stadium, just like happened to the no. Cleveland Browns. No. Mm -hmm. See the the Vegas Raiders got a ring to it. What other team has a ring that 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 could go with Vegas? 
the Las Vegas Chargers. How about the Las Vegas Washington football team? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's got a ring to it. All right. Let's talk about the bubble. NBA. You know, the bubble. The bubble. Yep, bubble. Go Suns. Five in a row they five got. In they got row. Five in a row as of as of this recording. Yes. So they're in the bubble. I hope they make it. I really do, because it's been a while. Well, most of them are in the bubble. You had the one that left for a family emergency, which oh, I'm yeah. not joking about the emergency. Emergency. Uh, they said it was a family funeral, but mm. he had to stop at the strip club. <laughs> well, well, he, he needed got, to get his chicken strips. He had to get his chicken strip on, because they were named after him. Mm-hmm. I believe it. A strip it. club. Chicken strips. Strip chicken club. strips. Strip club. Named yeah. after him. Maybe the strip club was. Were the chicken strips stripping? I don't know. Maybe it was a stripper named Chicken. <laughs> too, too much? All right. Well, he takes a water break. I think that was pretty damn funny. If you thought it was funny, click subscribe. Come on. Go ding, ding, ding. We like you, Janet. Ding, ding, ding. Click subscribe right down yeah, over there yeah. or wherever it is. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, oh, come on. So we're back to talking about basketball. So think about all, the, all those alpha males. So before we actually talk about the game, let's talk about those players. All those seven foot tall alpha males. You mean uh, the bubble of testosterone, testicular fortitude? I do. Yeah, what about it? Well, they all like to gamble to an extent or bet on stuff. You know, they're very competitive, obviously. They're no. Who would have thought that, you know? What you talking about, Willis? So what I saw on the news is that they're all playing like golf and they're playing um, individual um, playing cards, volleyball and cards and video games. Of course. What else um, are they going to do? Kickball, spike ball, cornhole, everything. Have you seen, the, have you seen the bubble they're in? Yeah, it's ESPN. So, it's the ESPN wild, wide, wide world of sports. Wh yes. <sighs> Say that five times fast. That, 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 <laughs> that, 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 that. That, 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 that. I think you're funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Uh, anyway. Anyways. I want to see the blooper reel from the bubble. Blubber I bloopers. I do, too. NBA blubber blooper. Uh, NBA bubble bloopers. Did you notice that they're all wearing different shirts? The backs of their shirts say different things like uh, equality or stand with us or I forget what it is. Respect. Mm-hmm. But they're also wearing Black Lives Matter T-shirts mm -hmm. and taking a knee during the national. Yeah, anthem. you can have that knee. I don't know. I, I also I... noticed that uh, baseball had put the the black light. It's just the, the MLB logo, the baseball, you know, and then underneath this BLM instead of MLB. Mm -hmm. I was like, you got to be kidding me. I know. <sighs> They haven't proved that they're behind the riots, but I think they are. I think part of them are. I don't think that all of them are. I just. Well, uh, I don't know. That's a that's a touchy subject. Yes, it is. Tiptoe, tiptoe. As I was talking. We all have our own opinion of the BLM. I I feel that uh, if you were born and raised in the United States, hell, if you if you are. A United States citizen. Yeah, not even born and raised. Just if you, you are a citizen, a citizen, I don't care what fucking color you are. You, you know, you're an American, and American lives matter. I, I like agree. I said, it doesn't matter what color your goddamn skin is. You know, it's not Black Lives Matter. It's I can't say White Lives Matter because then I'm racist. Yeah, but I'm white. My life matters. Yeah, I you know? know, but I'm an American, so American lives matter to me. And, and I don't care what color they are. And if Janet gets any whiter, she's going to be transparent. <laughs> That's my story. News at 11. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, I talked to our gardeners, the guys that do the landscaping. What? We have gardeners? Well, the guys that do the landscaping. Here oh, those complex. guys. Oh, okay. those guys are a riot. <laughs> they kill me. The pugs think they're delicious. I mean, lo love their lunch. Yeah, love their <laughs> lunch. <is true. laughs> And because they started, when we moved in, the pugs saw the guys, the guys saw the pugs, and mm -hmm. they're like, oh, here, you like eggs for breakfast? Come here, my little chiquitas. And they yeah. started feeding them. Yep. The rest is history. Mm -hmm. Four years later, we have fat pugs. They were thin when we moved in. I swear to God, they were. 
<laughs> anyway, so my Spanish has improved. Their English, not so much. You may be able to talk a lot of Spanish. You sure understand a lot of Spanish. Oh, yeah. So the other day, I got a pug licking my leg now. The other day. Went out with it, keeping us in suspense. I'm getting interrupted. Uh, well, as I was walking the pug. Tell I was her to move. By you. The other day, as I was bringing the pugs home, we walked past the guys. And talked to them for a couple minutes, and then I walked away, and they have a new guy. And he's like, said something about me, and I didn't quite hear what he said. And then one of the guys that I know in Spanish, he says to the, the new guy, he says, oh, that white chick with the, with the blonde hair and the pugs, don't worry, she's great. She's all good. You can talk to her anytime. And I turned around, and I just looked at him, and he's like, oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Forgot she can hear me. Forgot. <laughs> she understands. She understands. <laughs> and I told him, I said, and in English, I told him, I said, but you know that if I said that about you being brown skinned, if I said that, oh, that, that, oh, that, oh, that old brown skinned guy is pretty hot. <laughs> He'd be all over that shit. He wouldn't, he wouldn't think it was bad. He'd be like, oh, yeah, Chiquita, love me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. If I made some comment about him, either by me calling him Mexican or mm -hmm. brown skin or whatever, yes. one of the other new guys would take it wrong. Mm -hmm. And him and I have had that discussion before. Of course. So, so, had nothing to do with someone being hot, you dumb hillbilly. I can't say that because I'm hillbilly. I'm Bill Hilly. <laughs> you went there? What? I hill? was joking. It was a joke. Well, was I was saying, funny. like, if you said, oh, he's a hot. Mm -hmm. He's a 75 year old. I don't man. care. I mean, like I said, if you if you if we were doing a for instance. OK, I wasn't doing a for instance. I was doing a This is what really happened. I know. But if you had, for instance, said, hey, hey hot tamale over there, you oh, know, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I didn't get that Meow. out of there. Yes, sometimes I really am blonde. Meow. Sometimes I'm blonde. God. Janet, Patrick. you're really blonde. Stay with us. We'll be right back. So, you say you like tools. Now, are we talking about normal people like them or Tim the Toolman Taylor like them? Because if you're like the two of us, it is definitely in the Tim the Toolman Taylor's range. I have never been bored when shopping for tools. So here's what you do. Head on over to 18wheeltalk.com slash jbtools. It will take you to their site, which will normally give you a discount, a chance in a giveaway, join the rewards club, or something really great like that. Then start browsing to your heart's delight. Whether you're looking for power tools, hand tools, 25-ton jack stands, or gardening tools, they have got you covered. So take a few minutes to follow the link, 18wheeltalk.com slash jbtools, and jewel over a few tools while you're there. Just a second. Kaylin, get out from underneath the tent. Get out. Go. Thank you. Pugs, to... pugs interrupt hey, I, us. I just told her to move. And where'd she go? Right back, right? I said, move. Go. Pugs interrupt us. Okay, we're better. So, NBA bubble playoff wise and playing wise, other than the one player that isn't obeying the bubble rules, well, there's been going others. Going to strip joints, getting his chicken strips. Yeah, his he chicken, was hungry. His chicken was stripping. Yeah, and, he was hungry. <laughs> but you think about there's players, coaches. They were named after him. Train, the trainers, chicken strips they were. Doctors, journalists, all the people that are down there are all tested and supposed to seclude themselves inside the bubble right what you what you, you know it's they like have a roach motel you're supposed to check in and but not not check back out again do you know they have a hotline that if you're in the bubble you can call and report people who don't obey the rules i believe it because they're in high school yeah because yeah they they reverted to high school antics mm -hmm. do they get much. rewards i don't know i didn't hear that i just know that they've reverted to high oh, school antics i heard i heard um i think it was la they were they were given rewards to people turning in people for not wearing masks. I heard that and, and being it, social distant. Yeah, that's a big thing I'm right like, now in the U.S. Seriously, wow. 
Yeah. It's the rules, people. Follow them. But the NBA started mid-season, mm-hmm. and they started with, uh, what was it, 22 of the league's normal 30. Yeah. 30, plus... I, I think they got 32 teams. No, 22 of the league's normal 30, 30-ish teams, and then they added another six that were close to being in the playoffs. So they started with like 28 teams or something. Okay. That were in cont- 22 plus the six that were in contention to grab a spot. All right, go Suns. That's how the Suns got in. That's where <laughs> I was going with it because they yeah. were one of the six in contention. Yep. Now that they've won five, they're closer to being in I know, contention. right? They were like a game and a half out of the playoffs yep. last I knew. Okay. Go Suns. So that's, Get in there. You can do it. So they began by playing their regular eight regular season games. Okay, that's what they're doing right now. No, I think it ended up being more than eight. No, eight regular season games. Then they start their playoffs next week. Well, they've been in the bubble for a while. I don't know. Well, you think of how many teams there are to play eight games is a lot. Eight games apiece. Oh. Not just eight games. Eight games a team. I kind of figured that, duh. (laughs) I swear you're so damn silly. I swear I'm going to get you one of these days. So then the playoffs begin like the middle, like around the 15th or the 21st or something. I don't know. Uh, I just know the middle of August, which is like next Yeah, middle-ish. Week. Middle August-ish. Yeah. You know? Let me look at my calendar. I believe, yeah. And uh, then the, middle, middle to end. I think, it, I think it is around the 20th. And then the finals are sub- start September 30th. Yes. That's what you told me earlier. I believe. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. Uh, that might have been a- NHL. No, I don't. Remember. You told me NBA finals started I September thirtieth. I don't. I, I I have so many that I don't remember. I think the Super Bowl is going to be end of September. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to open up, go right into the playoffs. Say fuck it, we're not even going to play a season. Yeah, college sports is gone. Yeah, no, nope, forget it. It's done. Yeah. So many teams, so, so many colleges have canceled so much stuff that college sports is just pretty much done. Yep, I agree. It's, I know. It, and plus, they so, got well. I understand why too, because they can't protect the players. Like you, exactly. like you and I were talking before. You know, you're an offensive lineman. You're right there talking smack to each other. It's how are you going to protect me from your spit? Yeah, because even with the face shield, even if they lowered it down a little bit more, and maybe. Yeah, but then they're in danger when they lean down of hitting them. Oh, no, it just I got has that to band aid on my face. It just has to go where but their I'm face just, guard is. But even if they lowered it a little more, then when they lean down, they're in danger of hitting themselves in the chest because these guys are big, barrel chested guys, a lot of so them. So, what are you saying? They're big boys? Yeah, some of them are. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. And in addition, college sports, they're putting. Some yeah, of you're them- still, you're still. <laughs> no, I forgot what we were talking about. College. We were sports. talking about the big boys. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, college sports. I'm trying to figure out if so much college sports has been put on hold. How and college has been put on hold. How they're talking about there being problems in college sports with sexual harassment, sexual discrimination, and racial discrimination already this year. The year hasn't even started. I. How can they be talking? To, I don't know. I, I don't understand. It's like, I hate to say I'm stupid because I don't think I am. But if the if the school year hasn't started, <laughs> I, no, I'm, I don't. It's expect, left over from last year. That's possible because, but I'm because just saying. They, because COVID hit and they weren't able to put the complaint in. So now that things are starting to open up, they can complain again. I guess because it just does not make sense to me how you can be complaining about a season, a practice season that hasn't even started yet. It's like if they haven't started their season, they're practicing. How can they be complaining about all this stuff that if they haven't even seen them in person yet? Maybe they look at them, you know. And not what there's, there's, I mean, the uh, stuff they're talking about, like Colorado State University was one of them, you know. That's the one that I happen to read well, they're about too, this morning. They're too stoned to really figure it out, anyways. It's Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> They're mile high. <laughs> I knew you were going to go there. Okay, I should have just left that one. You should have just left it. You dangled talking, it in front of me. I and know, I, but they're talking about the toxic culture for this school year. I'll give them toxic culture. I don't even know if they're back in yet. You know? <laughs> yeah, no. 
It's no, like- there's a lot of a lot of college schools are backing out. They're they're saying they're that they are they do not feel they they're able to protect their players well enough, and so therefore they are opting out of the season. Okay, so do you think that everybody should opt out? All sports? Um, is it worth the price of a life? I no, mean- I don't. I don't think it is. But I would leave it up to the guys that are getting paid. You want to play? You know, take it to a poll, and if they get enough guys that want to play, you play. You know how many people you got to have on a team. So if you don't meet the standard, then you don't play. Okay. So what happens if, say, there's a team, okay? Okay. And say the team wants to play. Yep. And half the players want to play, but half the players don't. If but they with, don't. If, but let me finish. Sorry. But with only half of them playing is not enough to constitute putting a team together and playing. Now they're going to say, well, we're punishing the ones that want to play. That's Like I said, if you don't have enough players to meet the standards of a full team, then we don't play. Yeah. And see, I don't care whether you want to play or not want to play. That, that to me is you set up the guidelines. All right. You need nine players like in baseball. You need nine, nine people on the field. Yeah. All right. You're going to need backup people. So you need a couple extra pitchers, extra pitchers, a couple extra, extra players. So... 30 people on a roster, maybe okay. you need to actually play a game. Okay. So you, you leave it at, okay. If, if you've got 30 players that are able to play and are COVID free, mm-hmm. then, and, and we have X number of teams that have that amount of players that can play, then we'll play a season. We'll, we'll, we'll do something. We'll play something. Okay. If say you need 50 players on a football team. Okay. Cause you got offense, defense and special teams. Okay, but some players can play other positions. Yeah, true. They do that in like the XFL. The, right, the... right. Oh, speaking of that, did you hear The Rock bought the XFL? Yeah. I heard he had partners, but why is he bothered? He just... Promotions. Okay. Promotions. Why, yeah. why put all your money in it when you can have other people help out? That's true. You know, you know he's, he's, he, he's, he's going real life ballers now. Yeah, say ballers. He just went real life with it. Yeah. Yep. Great. You don't need HBO now. He's got, he's got, he's got money back. Thing. He's got backers. Yeah. Um, but no, where I was going with it is there's um, there's a female star, uh, obviously female star of the WNBA, mm-hmm. whose doctor told her that based on all the medications she takes, she shouldn't play. She shouldn't play. Right. But her team told her, if you don't play, you don't have a contract. She could fight it, I think. I don't know. She's playing. I know that. Yeah, because you know, obviously, but you know what'll happen is if she contacts it. Because she had a doctor's note and everything, and they forced her to play. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if she does get it and something happens, she's got a lawsuit. Oh, I'm sure. You know she will. But you know, it's I'm like, sure she's even you know fighting fighting them right now. The majority of the players mm-hmm. of professional sports, yep, okay, are millionaires or very wealthy. We'll say at the very yeah. Least. I wouldn't say they're all millionaires. Okay, not millionaires. Very but, wealthy, making they get a very paid, good living. They get paid a handsome salary to do what they do. I okay. wish I wish I got paid to do what they do instead of what I do. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Driver, if you haven't tried any of Mother Trucker Yoga's products, have we got news for you? The news is you are missing out on some great products that really do work. So. You're probably sore from a long day and just don't know where to even start looking, right? Well, driver, stop right there. You don't have to wonder anymore. These products were all designed with the professional truck driver in mind. And the Stiff Mother Trucker Pain Relief Cream is 100% natural. As in, all the junk that you don't need on your body is not in it. It is paraben-free, gluten-free, sulfate-free, and artificial dye-free. Probably made right here in the USA. Road-tested, trucker-approved. It relieves sore muscles, soothes pain and inflammation from bee stings and insect bites. It calms that back pain from driving those long, hard roads, helps alleviate foot pain, helps reduce wrist pain, elbow pain, and stiffness in the neck and shoulders from poor sleep or overuse. In other words... If your body is feeling bruised and bumped up from that ever-intensive truck driver life, then Stiff Mother Trucker Pain Relief Cream is the answer to what you are asking. Just ask the crew at A&E Shipping Wars. They will let you know. So, go to 18wheeltalk.com slash resources and look for Mother Trucker Yoga to find this and many more great products. 
professional healthy athletes. Okay. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. Okay. But they're family men or women, husbands, wives, yep. fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, sisters, cousins, brothers nephews, sons, nieces, daughters, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Just because they're athletes doesn't mean they're not going to get COVID, as is shown by professional right. baseball. Right. Yeah. I mean, you can see. And, and it's not just baseball, though. It's like, I'm just like saying, football players. For example, baseball. That's right. I just said, for example, shown oh, by baseball. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. And say one of them dies of COVID. Who's going to be the one to go to their children or their parents or their siblings? Right. And that's says, and well, say, that's why I say you leave it up to the people that are getting paid to play it. If you know, like if I had a contract to play, hey, hey Pat, you want to play? If you want to play and you, you and you and you don't test positive, if you got enough players on the uh, on on our team, we'll 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 do it. You know, leave it up to the players. The players right, have that option. Not now they don't. In the they NFL, should, they, though. In the NFL, they, they do. Yeah, I, rest, I like what the NFL is doing. That's yes. why that's why I'm saying it. I the, like it. They in the rest of sports, they're being told play or lose your contract. I don't feel that's so right. So who's going to go to those children or, or whomever, the family, and say, we needed our sports so bad we don't. here in America I don't think we need them that, that it cost your loved one their life? No, I don't think we need them that bad. I, Are people going to be bored? Yeah. Well, take stock in cares? Netflix. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, come on. We can recommend some good shows. You know, yeah. You know, Prime. Well, volunteer. Pr you know, hell, Amazon's fucking multi-billion dollar company. Go to Prime. You know, watch, you know, sign up for Prime. You can get videos from there, too. But go volunteer. Nobody wants to do that anymore. You can't be six Tons feet. Tons of people You volunteer. can't be six feet away from yes, people. Yes, you can. You'd be putting yourself at risk. Tons of people volunteer. Stay home, people. Volunteer. Okay, volunteer. I, I discourage I, people from volunteering, <laughs> Patrick. It's up to them. Exactly. They're, they have they have that option. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. I'm being the devil's advocate. Yeah, I'm going to give you a devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. Just because you got the horns. Don't you don't scare me. I just, well, one of them's a yeah, scary. you're you're. You're way off. I'm going to give you. Okay, so. See, what I, think is, I don't care who's winning what game right now. I think we need to take a break. I think the country needs yeah, I to think, heal. I, I and agree. while after 9-11, the sign that when baseball came back, the country was healing, the country was getting better. I think that was right, a different set of circumstances, though. I think think that that was a totally different situation and mm. i think that we need to just give it a break and go and enjoy the rest of the year as the best we can and uh i do love you and see you next year basically i agree you know like i said if you can't do it safely then don't do it you know if you got there's tons of stuff I you mean, can do with people you can still do stuff with people you love now, who wants to do that? <laughs> I said love, not or related to. Two different things. Oh, my bad. You're going to be bad. <laughs> not that you're living with and not that you're related to. People you love and want to be with. Gotcha. Got it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Pat. I, I feel that it should be left up to the players to make the decision on whether or not they, they feel they should play. I agree. But if you test positive... Go the fuck and there's home. not Stay enough pe not enough people to have on a team, then we can't play. If we don't have enough teams to play, then we don't do a season. I agree. You know, do I feel that we absolutely need? No, we can. We we've gone this far without it. We we can go. I don't want to talk about it. Oh my God, Janice' head's falling off. <laughs> my head's falling off. Oh yeah. So let's let's do that now. Well, yeah, of course I'm going to do that now. It's driving me nuts. It's a short, a short drive. It is a short drive. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have that problem. What am I going to do with him? Anybody like to tell me? There's no help for me. So if you'd There's like no to tell me you. what I'm going to do with him, how I comment can below. Him, comment below. <laughs> Leave a comment, mark it, put a little uh, something on it, uh, tag me in it. Hey, <laughs> at Janet don't forget Q to Biz. subscribe. Janet M. Biz. The, you can let me know. Button. Subscribe down there. Don't forget to hit Poke the little him. bell. Poke him while you're at it. Poke the bear. And if you have a hard time finding it, you can go to 1 8 Wheel Talk. W H E E L T A L K dot com forward slash YouTube. That'll take you right to our YouTube channel. 
you can subscribe automatically. A little pop-up box will come up and say, did you want to do this? I meant to do that, really. Of course you did. Oh, Janet, Janet, Janet. Oh, Patrick, 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 Patrick. I do love you. I love you too, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Yes, dear. This is my radio voice you like, right? No. Why not? What's up, Patrick? <laughs> so you got a frog in your throat. No, no frog. I got Bart. <laughs> got Bart Simpson stuck in there. Oh, yes. I but, didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. Can't prove anything. Don't have a cow, man. Don't have a cow, man. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> So what else you want to talk about? Anything? What's for dinner? <laughs> we talked about we talked about sports. The only sport we didn't talk about was was golf. We didn't talk about soccer. Okay, golf. Tiger it, Woods is back. They don't miss the fans. Yeah. Go back to they TV the need, way they, they liked you in the seventies. They didn't need fans. Okay, you know? so there's golf. Next. Uh, let's see soccer. My I brother. Don't know, I don't my know brother anything. Chuck played in the eighties. I could call him and ask his opinion. I don't know anything about soccer. I know Phoenix Rising is doing pretty well. That's what I hear, anyway, just Chuck, from watching the news. Chuck, whose name is John. But then again, Arizona's biased. They only talk about Arizona teams. Every state's <laughs> that way. Well, it's all good. He played for a team here in the Phoenix area. A Phoenix. Indoor. Indoor. In Phoenix yeah. in like 81. Okay. Yeah, I remember sitting in the stands watching him play and drinking beer. What? Nice. So, what else you want to talk about dinner? No, we're talking about sports. Well, sports and food go together. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we covered football, basketball, baseball, hockey, hockey, baseball. Oh, horse racing. They fucked up my triple crown. I don't want to talk about them. End of story. Okay. Next year. I agree. Yeah. Horse okay. racing is done. Um, soccer. We talk about soccer. We you, you did a little bit of women's basketball. Do you know what they didn't mess up? They are playing in a bubble. You didn't know that, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Racing. NASCAR. 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 If you go to like drag races though and everything, people aren't wearing masks and people are just sitting in the stands like normal. You know, you're right. Yeah. I've got friends the that NH are NH NHRA. Yeah. yeah. But if you go to NASCAR, there's nobody in the grandstands. I know, but if you go to NHRA or local tracks across the country, mm -hmm. yeah, they they, they were tracks. just here. They were yeah. just here. It's not, all, not too it, long ago. It all looks pretty normal. You're right. Well, not as many fans, but yes, they are fans in the stands, and mm -hmm. you're right. Well, some of them, uh, the 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 crews are mandatory. They have to wear masks. Yeah, but the fans is what it I'm should talking. be mandatory for fans. I'm just but. telling you what I've seen on. Facebook. I honestly believe it's going to be a long time before we have any big crowded events. You I know, agree. Concerts, you name it. It does sporting events. It'll be a long time before fans are let back in. Again. Okay, but here's your here's my question. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. <laughs> so now they have this COVID test that gives you like 15 minute results. I believe so. Yes. So say they want to do a concert with a thousand people in it. Mm -hmm. Why can't a concert promoter set that up and set up, say, 50 of those stands with the 15 minute and run a um, bunch of people through COVID <laughs> tests before a concert? Anyway. Anyways. So because they're pretty much within 15 minutes, why can't a concert promoter do that? Too much. I think it's, it's too much uh, to try to get people tested before they can walk in the door because they have to do the test and they have to wait 15 minutes. And then if they pass, then they can be let in. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just too much. Okay. No, it's just too much of a crowd standing around waiting for their results. Asking for a friend. You know, I'm just saying. Okay. That's just my opinion. I think eventually it's going to go to something like that. Yeah. They'll, they'll get the test results down to where, where it's like you, you take a swab, you know, how they test for blood. They take a swab, put it in a thing and shake it up. And, and if it turns a certain color, you got, you got COVID. If it's not, then you don't have it. Yeah. If it you turns know? blue, you have yeah. COVID. If, you're it's, dying. if it's blue, you're pregnant. <laughs> Easy P blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it's, if it's blue, you got the V. Yeah, that's right. Yes. The V. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do with you? Huh? What am I going to do with you? 
I don't know, but we're going to do another podcast after this. Not until this room cools down. Couple of bottles of beer on the wall. Couple of bottles of beer. <laughs> Give Janet a mudslide, me a beer, and we ought to have fun. <laughs> well, there'll be a fan in the background, though. What the? No, because that's too noisy. I don't care. I don't it's care. hot in my car. <laughs> Click. Say goodbye, Janet. Goodbye, Janet. Say goodbye, Patrick. Goodbye, Patrick. Thank you for joining, everybody. If you enjoyed our podcast, please smash the like button. It does does help out our show. Subscribe down below here somewhere. Check out our other videos. Help us out. We're still new at this. We're working out our bugs, but I think we I think we're doing pretty good. What do you think, Janet? I can't hear I can't hear your pee rattle. You told me I'm not supposed to get the last word in. Hey, you're not. I asked you a question. Answer it, please. Okay, what was the question? I forgot. <laughs> I said we're we're working like, the bugs we're out. We're doing the bugs We're out. doing pretty good at this. Smash, smash it. Smash. Don't smash your microphone. I was trying to smash you on the head, but I can't reach that far. You know, you got to be able to learn to move that microphone so it's like close to your mouth so people can actually hear you when you I'm talk. I'm sorry. Your soft voice. I'm so sorry. You are so not. Goodbye, everybody. She's blowing kisses now. Gotta go. 18 Wheel Talk. Thank you for joining us today. We greatly appreciate it. Be sure to stop by 18wheeltalk.com and check out all the affiliates mentioned in the program today. Remember, we're here coaching generations of drivers while guiding them on their path to success. We'll catch you on the flip side. Spark the revolution. revolution. So tell me, do you have one of those change buckets in your vehicle for fancy cafes? Yeah. And are you looking for a way to help support the show and just don't know how? Well, we have great news for you. It is super easy, and you can do it for as little as $3 a month. Yes, that's right, $3 a month. That means for the cost of a cup of coffee, you could support the show for a month. And if you order one of those foo-foo frappy thingamabobs with all those flavors and whipped cream and sprinkles on top, you could support the show for about six months. Isn't that amazing? Saving you calories from that frappy thingamabob with all those flavors and whipped cream and sprinkled things on top. And help out the show. <laughs> What's not to like about that? So to do so, just go to 18wheeltalk.com slash support, and you will see just how easy it is to support the show. And don't forget to pick out your fan emoji while you're there. That's 18wheeltalk.com slash support.